Shalom, Yasharala. I want to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem and Karkadash. I want to give dumb honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow labors in Yahweh Shah, pushing his truth across the four winds. Uh, I'm going to do this sit down about fasting, man. Uh, in these last days, we should be fasting like never before. Uh, fasting is the way to afflict your soul. And humble yourself before your high by Shema was shy. And um, it's well pleasing to you, to him, when you afflict your soul. All right? And you go to our Heavenly Father for requests, spiritual requests. All right? Because uh, we're going to need all the power we could get in these last days, seconds, and time. And that's how you acquire your power from our Heavenly Father. One way that you acquire power is fasting. All right? He, uh... He reveals things to you through fasting, all right? You have, if you have uh, foul spirits that have attached themselves to you, um, some of them are only going to come off with fasting and prayer, man, all right? And fasting with prayer is great, man, like the book of Tobit says, man. And, uh, and our Heavenly Father gave us that tool, and we have to utilize it, all right? Because our faith is going to be tested like ever, and you know, you could be in the in the truth for years and still have certain things that you haven't conquered. You know, a brother could get be well studied. You know, he's got on a level, but when it comes to certain issues in his life, he just haven't crossed that mountain and uh, got over that mountain. But the Most High, we have the antidote. We have the antidote to get over the mountain because you got to look at it like this: the elect. The elect men, all these curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 28th chapter, generational curses get broke at the elect men. This is where they get breaking, broken at. The elders used to have a, a, a um, channel on YouTube named Breaking Strongholds, okay? So a lot of strongholds that are on brothers and been on brothers have been on brothers for generations and eons, all right? And they get broken. Here in this last, uh, in this last incarnation, man. All right. So I'm gonna go into the, a few fasting precepts and show how to man, how to buffet yourself, how to rid yourself of foul spirits, man. You know, a lot of Paul, not the only one, had thorns in his flesh. I know I for sure got one that I've been battling. All right, but the Most High has gave us the answers to to be overcomers, man. So I'm gonna start off in um. Uh, Matthew 17, and I'm going to start like around the 14th 14th verse. Matthew 17 and 14 and 14. And when he came and when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him saying, my king, have mercy on my son for he is a lunatic, all right, and sore vex, all right? So this guy was having convulsions and shit. A lot of times when you see people having seizures, all right, that's demon possession, okay? All right? Those are foul spirits that has inhabited that person, all right? But oftentimes he followed into the fire and often into the water, and I bought him to, the, to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then... Yahweh answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. All right. So one thing when you do fast and pray, you ask the Heavenly Father for faith, man. Faith will get you healed. Faith will get you delivered. Faith will get you, you purged of, weak, weak, uh, of weakness. All right. You have to have faith. And this thing of ours, all right? And a lot of it. Sometimes you have to pray for faith, man. Fast for it, okay? And Yahweh shall rebuke the devil, all right? So when you have faith, man, you can conquer these demons that attack us, man. All right? Because when you come to serve Yahweh by Shema Washai, according to Sarek, the second chapter, it say prepare your soul for temptation, man. All right? Tribulation, persecution, so on and so forth. All right? And you get that power and that strength through fasting, man. All right? And he departed out of him 
And the child was cured from that, that very hour. All right. And then came the disciples to Yahweh shot apart and said, why could not we cast him out? And Yahweh shot said to them, because of your unbelief. All right. We got to believe these things we read, man. And the scriptures say, put off that weak nature and, and mortify your members, man. You got to have faith that things that you're dealing with, weaknesses you have, that the most high will strengthen you. Strengthen you. Second Corinthians, uh, as a passage that says, um, I will, I will, weaknesses made per, perfect in his strength. I'm going to find that passage. I might, because I might have mangled it. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. You see what I'm saying? But faith is a gift and everybody don't have it, all right? All right? So sometimes you have to pray, you have to pray. a lot of times you have to pray for it. How about this kind not go of not out, but by praying and fasting, all right? So you you, you have to get the, the, the faith that moves mountains a lot of times through praying and fasting. And that's how you become an overcomer, okay? That's how you uh, overcome these various straits and temptations and trials that we have to go through in this life and the ones we're ultimately going to go through through Jacob's trouble, okay? Uh, let me get this passage in Romans. This is Romans 8, and I'm going to go up to about 37, all right? And this is what, I, this is what, this is what I'm on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start at 37, all right? I'm going to start at 36, all right? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long, all right? So you got to have faith to believe in something and do something. Knowing that your life were in the balance. All right. Romans 12 and 1 say, make your body a living sacrifice. The only way you could do that and face the music, whatever comes to you, you have to have faith. Okay. All right. To know you, you might die doing what you're doing. You have to have faith. And a lot of times you got to pray and fast to go through what you got to go through. Our great King, right before he was put on the cross, he prayed to blood came out of his brow, man. All right. You have to pray without ceasing consistently and diligently. All right, being intimate with the Most High, man, to be, become an overcomer, man. All right, we are accounted as sheep to the slaughter. All right, a lot of us brothers are going to be literally sheep led to the slaughter, like our great King, man. Martyrs. All right, for you to lay down your life for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man, and be found a good and faithful servant, man. You got to have that power from on high, man. To be ready to face the music. Go to the guillotine with a smile. All right? Go through whatever lot that the Most High has set for you to go through, man. All right? Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Okay? We could conquer anything, man. And when you're not conquering something, you have this demon that you just ain't conquering, you have to pull out that flat, that fast card, man. And start fasting and praying, man. All right, to up the up up the ante, because we could conquer anything. It's nothing in this life that could keep us from the love of Yahweh Bashimah Washai and obeying His word, man. All right, so a lot of times you have to up up the ante and, and, and do a fast, man. For I am persuaded that neither death, you see what I'm saying, death. Oh, death, where is thou sting? Once you're not afraid of death, man, nothing could stop you in this life, man. Nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power. See, these demons, all right, these imps, they don't have no power over us as long as we are resting in Yahweh Bashim Shai, seeking Yahweh Bashim Shai, fasting and praying, giving alms, all right? We become immortals our, our, ourselves, man. And we could take on these demons. We could take on anything that the, the uh, wicked one throws at us, okay? nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Amashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Okay? And for you to get on that level, on that great level, 
to go go through where you get where, where you have to go through. I mean, man, you it, it's it's essential that you have to fast, man. It's essential that you have to fast. You can't get around fasting in these last days when you have great death on the right hand and on your left hand. All right. You have to seek your high by Shema Rashad while he may be found. And to seek the way you seek your high by Shema Rashad, man, is through fasting and, and diligent prayer, man. All right? If you got an emotional demon that's hooked up to you, you know, that's one demon I battle from time to time. All right? The way you conquer that demon, is, and if, it, if every time you put in a high situation, all right, you're not controlling your temper, man. You got to fast that demon. You got to get that shit purged out of you, man. All right, you got to get that leaven purged out of you, man. And when you when you pray to your high about Shema Shai, he would do it. Okay, we find that passage, uh, five First Corinthians five and six, and it reads, "All right, your glorying is not good. Know you not that a little leaven leavened the lump?" All right, so if you got a foul spirit, emotional spirit, a bickering, always complaining spirit, a Backbiting spirit, a messy spirit, any type of foul spirit on you, man. All right? That has to be purged. You got to become perfect in this thing of ours. All right? The Most High is raising up perfect men, elite men, elite Israelites, man. All right? And if you have just a little bit of weakness, a little bit of leaven, it fucks up the whole vibration, man. A little weakness. Man, we we, we are strong. We, are, we need to be perfect men. So the way you purge leaven out of you is through fasting and prayer, okay? Purge out, therefore, the old leaven. You fast. All right? You separate yourself from the world. You separate yourself from various delicacies, okay? As you are unleavened, okay? And you become unleavened. You become pure, man. All right? For even the anointing. Even Yahweh Shah will pass over is sacrifice for us. Man, this word, man. All right. Our great king, what he did, he gave us power from on high, man, through his word, man. The scriptures say uh the word became flesh, man. And his word is what sanctifies us, cleanses us, and purifies us. And in his words, he told us to fast and pray because it's certain. Things we're gonna we, we're gonna have to prepare ourselves to go through that we're only gonna be able to conquer them with, with the tool of fasting, man. He made Paul fast after he brought Paul to the truth, man. Okay, when he knocked Paul off that horse, Paul didn't eat for a few days. All right, the Most High was revealing to him what he had to do. All right, that's that's what we have to do a lot of times, man. We have to take advantage of fasting. We go get this banger. This is uh, Isaiah, the 58th chapter. I'm going to start at the fifth verse. Okay? And it reads, Is this such a fast I have chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul. Man, when you afflict your soul, all right, that's well pleasing to you. How about you, shot? Is it not to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth? And ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast, an acceptable day of the Lord? Okay? You want your fast, when you do fast, you make sure you fast right. You set your heart aright. Because you want to get results from your heart by Shema Shai. You want him to see you and hear you. All right? And you want him to grant you your request as long as they're within his will. Okay? You want to ask him to give you power over your, over your body. Over this flesh, all right? So you can become that new man who offends less. All right? That's what you what we're fasting for. For your Habashim Awashai to give us strength to conquer this flesh. Because that's our first enemy. This devil and the black woman, Eve and Esau, they're not our worst enemy. It's this body of death that we're dwelling in, man. All right? A lot of my, my wounds in this faith been self-inflicted wounds, man. Ain't been nothing no black bitch done did to me. Ain't been nothing this devil done did to me, man. It's been shit that I bought on myself with my flesh, okay? And when you see that, you have a self-analysis of yourself and you go purge that leaven out of you, man, okay? 
And this is why you do it. Is it not the fast I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo heavy burdens? All right. And to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. That's why we fast, man. All right. A lot of brothers say they have demons vexing them and you, you fast. All right. That's how they get the fuck away from you, man. Okay. Got brothers that say they can't sleep. You fast. All right. You fast and pray. All right. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and then to bring thy poor that are, are cast out of thy house? When thou seekest the naked, that thou cover him and thou hide not thy face from thy own flesh. All right. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. All right. When you fast, man, the most high answer your prayers. And guess what, man? He strengthens you. All right. He gives you that spiritual nourishment you need. He opens up your understanding that you may understand the scriptures and he let his Holy Spirit be your guide and light, man. And thine health shall spring forth speedily. All right. And we talk about your spiritual health before we talk about your physical health. All right. When your spiritual body is in, in, in contact and, uh, and you're in the right spirit, then it's, it's going to manifest into your physical realm, into the physical realm, man. All right. And now health shall spring forth speedily, man. The things that plague you don't plague you anymore. All right. You're not overtaken by demons, impulses. Okay. You, you conquer your flesh. You, 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 you have dominion over your flesh and your spirit reigns over you. This is what fasting does, okay? And the righteousness shall go before thee and the glory of your house shall be thy reward. And the men that's going to march in that kingdom is the men that's going to be the ones that utilize fasting and prayer as much as they could, man. To tap into your heart by Shema Shai's power. All right? This is 1 Corinthians 9. And 25, all right? And it reads, And every man that strive for the mastery is temperate in all things. You learn to be temperate through fasting. You're controlling your flesh. Your flesh is begging for food, all right? And you control your flesh. You tell your flesh, no, you can't have this. And you build up your spirit. You weaken your flesh while building up your spirit. That's what you're doing with fasting. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are corruptible you see these niggas that that are temperate these u.s sprinters and world-class sprinters and long distance runners man they they put their body in subjection so they can win a corruptible prize man they they are disciplined they exercise every day no one has to tell them okay and they do it for corruptible crime when it comes to us that we're doing it in the spirit we you supposed to fast pray Read your scriptures daily. All right? The scriptures say, Daniel, pray to your Habashimah Shah three times a day. Okay? Fasting with prayer is beneficial, man. All right? I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so far as I want to beat it to air. But I keep my under my body and bring it into subjection. That's what we're doing, man. We beat this body into subjection, man. This body of death, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai using the tool of fasting, man. All right? When this flesh flare up, you, when you get hot and pissed off, you control that temple. You stay temperate. You hold your tongue. You know when to hold them and fold them, okay? That's how kings conduct themselves. Lest die by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Lord forbid, man. So the way you don't be a castaway, man, is you fast and pray, man, because there's nothing in this life we can't do, man. This is, uh, I'm going to leave off with this one. This is Philippians 4 and 13. And the scripture says, I can do all things through Yahweh Shai that strengthen me. And Yahweh Shai strengthen us when we fast, man. When you fast, he gives you power from the wrong high, man. He grants your request um, a lot of times, as long as it's within his perfect will. So with that, I'm going to give infinite honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Karkodash. I'm going to give double honors to our teachers, the apostles, the great millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, pushing this truth across the four winds. Kwam, Yahshua, Baba, Baba.